everybody, it's Matt. I'm sorry I couldn't get to do a video yesterday. Um, I was really busy. Uh, I went to go see a show in the city, Mary Poppins, and I was extremely busy. I had to do a lot of homework because I had this whole entire week off. My math teacher gave me a big fat packet to do. So, anyways, I'm sorry I couldn't get to it. It's supposed to be every Saturday, these videos. But for today's edition, I'm going to show you what a hydrometer is, what does it do, how does it work. So, um, well, let me show you. Okay, everybody, this is a hydrometer. Um, let me get into what it pretty much does in a second. But you can pretty much get these at your fish store, local pet store, for, I would say, anywhere to $7 or $8, these little cheap plastic ones. Um, so, these are pretty cheap. They get, an, they get a pretty good estimate. But if you want to go really fancy, um, I do not have one because I'm still setting up this tank right here. So if you want to go really, really fancy, there's these ones where you see, you put um, little drops, I think, um, on the lens, and you see right through to the sun. And I'm not really sure how that works, um, but if you get one, I'm sure there's instructions. You, you can ask a lot of people. But I have these ones, so let me show you how it works. Let me, guys put, you, let me put you guys down for a second. And I'll show you. So right now, my tank, uh, you've probably only seen it in this color once or twice because this is my night light. I switch the lights back and forth. So pretty much, you take it, and with mine, you just dump in it, take it, and there's this line that you have to match the water up with. I'm not sure you guys can see, but... The line that you guys match with, match it up with is right here. So it's matched up. And what you have here is my salt levels are way too high right now. My dad just added um, a lot of salt mix to it. He just added a lot of uh, water and stuff. My salt levels are way too high. So what's it going to do? It, eventually, this stuff is going to evaporate. Or you can take out water from your tank. Uh, you could filter through an RO unit. I do not have that. I use the chlorinator. I'm going to get into that another time. Um, so, what well, you want it to be in between this black spot over, over here. This is a uh, reef, and I believe this is a uh, marine. So, you want to get it in between the black part and this part. If you get it between here, you're fine. Right now, I'm way too high, but fish love it like this. Um, so, after you're done testing the water, you're going to dump it back into your aquarium. That's pretty much it. Uh, get a towel uh, to rinse off your hands, wash your hands afterwards. And that's pretty much it. Uh, that's how you work this. It's really, really simple. But eventually the water will evaporate and the salt will, so you'll get a very good estimate in between, I say a week, you can dump out some of the water, but anyways guys, um, I for my, for a review from my tank, uh, my clownfish is doing pretty good, um, my yellow tank is doing really nice, and I'm not sure what my purple pursuitus is right now, uh, he's, he's usually camera so shy, but I'm going to feed him in a second, so you might see him come out. So let me just open this. I feed them uh, flake food. Uh, you'll probably see an episode ha what to feed them soon coming. And a little cat. Don't want to feed them too much. You're gonna feed them about two or three times a day. So you'll probably see all my fish come out right now. It's gonna be really cool. Uh, the yellow tang usually eats the bottom, like the corals and stuff, so that's pretty cool. And anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this episode of Mathematical Aquariums. Uh, my brother, I was talking about in the beginning, like the first or second episode, Mathematical Aquariums. Uh, my Oscar um, did pass away because my Jack Dempsey was beating at him a lot. But anyways... And about, I'd say, next week or the week after that, 
I'm going to be telling you how to really set up a salt or fresh water tank because my brother is going to give me his tank. So I'm going to restart fresh because my fish are getting pretty big. I only have the Jack Dempsey, but he's going to give me some of his fish. fish and it's going to be pretty big. So anyways, guys, I hope you liked this another edition of Match Magical Aquariums. Tune in to check out more saltwater and freshwater um, uh, videos about your fish tanks. So I'm Matt. I will see you later. I hope you this video helped you. Uh, let me just try to get my pearl of the I'll see you later. I'm Matt. Subscribe, like, and comment this video. Uh, I'm going to comment. I'm going to leave... A question of the day, which I don't really do a lot in salt water. My other channels, I usually do that. What should I name my fish? That is Nemo because, you know, Nemo's Nemo. <laughs> He's the clownfish. Everybody names it that. But my yellow tang is still having trouble with names. And my purple pursuitus is somewhere hiding in these rocks. I might name him uh, Hide and Seek Guy or whatever. But that's a pretty corny name and stuff, so... Um, I'm Matt, I'll see you later, so answer that, um, I'd like to know what I should name these guys, so I'm Matt, see you later.